Before we get into the video, do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. Now just before I start, I want to say I appreciate everybody that's watching these videos. Now that's, that's all said and done, let's get down to it. So a brazen and unapologetic East London crime family made mega money by luring vulnerable victims to East London under false promises of paid construction work only for them to be forced to become modern day slaves. Now these victims were stripped of basic human rights, all the things that we take for granted. They were forced to work for nothing, their passports and visas and other documents were taken off them, and they were given no pay, no wages. The main man in charge was 61 year old Vasil Dragoy. Beneath him he had younger family members like his sons, who enforced his modern day slavery conditions. Now, we're not stupid, so we've seen this type of crap before, and we know what happens. People from Eastern Europe, from places like Romania, Poland, Slovakia, come over to the UK and work in construction for pennies, for literally pittances. They are forced to share a room with six or sometimes up to ten other workers. They sleep on dirty mattresses or a hidden bunk bed, and are even beaten or threatened if they want to buy alcohol or cigarettes. These are essential items to get these kind of people through the day when you have to contend with living in such horrible conditions and realising that the promises were all lies. The Dragoy family were found guilty of human trafficking offences at Southwark Crown Court after a six week trial. Now during the court case it emerged that Vasil Dragoy promised his victims a job in construction with free food and accommodation and a payment of £50 a day. Now when the victims came over from Romania, the victims documents like visas and passports and bank cards, they were seized. Then in order to control them further, the Dragoy family made up fake debts and gave stupid reasons why no wages would be paid. Sometimes the victims would try and confront the family and when they confronted them, again they were beaten or threatened. Police said that the victims were kept in four houses spread across London, Dickens Road, Ladysmith Avenue and Mitcham Road. Now these poor people were forced to live in cramped conditions. Well actually cramped is actually understanding the terrible conditions they had to suffer with. Imagine, 26 people lived in a single terraced house. 26 people. You've got to share one bathroom with 26 other people. And whenever a housing inspection was taking place, these slaves were hidden in the loft. Now, Vasil Dragoy was found guilty of conspiracy to arrange or facilitate the travel of another person with a view to exploitation. His sons and other family members were also convicted of the same charge. Now again, we all know this is a crap situation to be in, but it happens. Fingers crossed, these modern day slave victims can find a job that they actually love and be paid the right wage. Stay safe. Safe.